One of my quieter goals this year has been to read more books, and so I recently finished reading The Zahir, a novel written by Paolo Coelho. A few reviews I read about the book were controversial, and although I myself did not completely gel up with the novel's entirety, I still resonated with and found many gems of wisdom within it, as I often do in Coelho's writing. One of the moments that prompted me to pause was when the topic of telling your story arose. The protagonist's wife, Esther, had grown sadder and more confused over the years as to her purpose in life and the thought that people were usually good at pretending that they were happy when in fact a deeper sadness lay within. An old man responds to her questioning of people's sadness, saying, They are the prisoners of their personal history. Everyone believes that the main aim in life is to follow a plan. They never ask if that plan is theirs or if it was created by another person. They accumulate experiences, memories, things, other people's ideas, and it's more than they can possibly cope with. And that's why they forget their dreams. The protagonist gradually becomes aware of the fact that Esther had started telling people her story and that in doing so, she could release versions of herself that were holding her back in some way. I began to reflect on this. When I was growing up, sharing my story or my side of things in general was not really an option. As I grew a bit older, I met people who did speak about their lives. They prompted me to speak too. They asked important questions that I had never answered but had wanted to, and gave me the space to simply be listened to. When I finally felt brave enough to share some of my stories, the hardest things to voice were always the moments I had kept most hidden away, yet they were the most important ones that I had to speak about in the end. The meaning behind all of this might be quite obvious for you who is listening, as it has always been kind of obvious to me too, but I realised upon reaching this point in the book of the real significance behind sharing our stories. When we are growing up, and especially if we grow up in environments which are hurtful, we are usually taught what our stories are. And if we are told who we are at our core over and over again, even if at first we know it isn't true, we start to believe it and it becomes our story. Aside from storytelling moments being times of connection, whenever I had shared a story from my life or a narrative that I've been clinging to, it had been like a weight being lifted from me and along with tears, voicing the words released their hold on me in some way. It was like sediment at the bottom of a barrel that had been building up over the years, finally being cleaned out. Sharing the narratives and stories had at times felt exposing, but amongst the right people, letting the words come out felt healing and left me feeling mentally, emotionally, and at times even physically lighter. A character in the Zahir says at one point, it's not my story anymore. Whenever I speak about the past now, I feel as if I were talking about something that has nothing to do with me. All that remains in the present are the voice, the presence, and the importance of fulfilling my mission. I think that we often keep our stories and memories circulating in a loop within us. We repeat them to ourselves unrelentingly, as if we must remind ourselves of all of the pain and misfortunes we've had to endure since the beginning of time. All of the shame we never learned to understand and all of the guilt we felt from our own actions towards others and all of the things we haven't done or become. And then when I hear thoughts such as these, I begin to wonder whether we could be living better without living in this cycle. When we speak our stories, it could be an opportunity for us to once and for all feel heard, feel seen and to put the story to rest so that we can finally step into the present version of ourselves that yearns to become something new. I'm not saying we should start blurting out whatever thought or memory comes to the surface at any given time, because I also think that words hold power and are not always necessary. But speaking from my own experience, I know that it has been of great help to sit with a friend, a sibling, even a complete stranger, because sometimes that works best someone who will gladly share a safe space for your stories to be held and released. And you know, even if no one's around, I've found that speaking them into the wind or into the waves or into the forests can sometimes help too. And so I'll leave you with one final quote. That is why it's so important to let certain things go, 
to release them, to cut loose. People need to understand that no one is playing with marked cards. Don't expect to get anything back. Don't expect recognition for your efforts. Don't expect your genius to be discovered or your love to be understood. Complete the circle, not out of pride, inability or arrogance, but simply because whatever it is no longer fits in your life. Close the door, change the record, clean the house, get rid of the dust. Stop being who you were and become who you are. And on that note, have a beautiful rest of your day.